like most people, you spend a good amount of your time on Facebook. And you've probably got a number of Facebook fan pages that you've liked. Hopefully, one of them is Fox 25's Facebook page. But in a matter of days, those Facebook fan pages may be changing. And if you have a fan page of your own, it might not work if you don't do the updates that need to be done. Joining us to discuss it is Christopher Penn, the Vice President of Strategy and Innovation at Blue Sky Factory. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. First of all, tell me what these changes mean. How is the fan page that we have now, for example, for our uh, Fox 25 fan page, how is that going to change from what we see now to what it's going to be? Well, what Facebook is doing is they're basically saying, we used to give you these old sort of picture frames, in a way, for your content. So you could have custom content like Fox has the, the Android and uh, uh, mobile stuff here, and saying that yeah, old picture frame doesn't really do it anymore uh, for us. So if we, you know, this is an example of an old one. The Fox one is an old one as well. So it's there's not that much that you can do. There's yeah, no, not too many bells. It's a and very whistles. simple picture frame. Yeah. But it's easy for people to put yes. up, right? So the new pages and what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to put video. You know, for example, you could put Fox 25 live stream so people could watch this broadcast right now. Mm -hmm. um, you can put all sorts of tracking and analytics and, and understanding this. If you're a small business owner, if you are um, any kind of organization that has a fan page, mm -hmm. you'll be able to do so much more. It's a much nicer picture frame to hang in your house. You know, analytics are something that really interests me because mm -hmm. you can tell who is coming to your site, how long they're spending on your site, where they're going to afterwards. And for people who have a small business, that can be really, those can be really useful tools. Absolutely. In fact, the, if you do the analytics right, you can even tell, for example, if you're a small business, I know exactly how much money I made from Facebook. Interesting. You can really dig into it. Now, another thing that I'm seeing here, as you were mentioning, is you can put video mm -hmm. on this. Uh, is this going to be something where, this is what I love, just to copy and paste a link, or do you have to know how to, you know, write C++ or Java or whatever? Well, what's Java, by the way, to me, is a coffee in the morning, okay? <laughs> to you, it means something different, I'm sure. Absolutely. Well, with the new fan pages, they are they can start as simple as copy and paste, and they can go all the way up to, you know, the next Farmville or the next Cityville and stuff. It depends all on what kind of skill you have or what kind of skill your organization hires. That's really interesting. So is there maybe an opportunity for people who want to create a Farmville or something like that to give them a platform to do that? Absolutely. They've always been able to write an app, but now they can have the app featured and have people put it on there the right inside of the, the fan pages. Why do you think, I was just talking to uh, Kristen Doobie, one of our editors, and she was saying, you know, it feels like they change Facebook every day. Yeah. Why is it that Facebook changes so much? They're testing to see what works the best. Because remember, what actually pays for Facebook is this stuff over here. You know, the, the ads and things. Okay. So show me how we would do it. Sure. So what you would do, it's a not a short process. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things you'll need to do is you'll need to obviously take the content you've got already. Okay. And set it aside, and you'll have to become a developer on Facebook. You register for free. It's all, all this is, you know, costs no money. Mm -hmm. And then you'll go through the process of setting up the application, taking that content, whether it's Fox 25's live feed or whether it's you know, Blue Sky Factory's email marketing stuff, mm -hmm. and you'll copy and paste that into the new page, which is going to live on your website. So not Facebook anymore. It lives on your site. So you have control. If anything changes on Facebook, you still have that content intact. In fa exactly. And in fact, you can edit it very quickly if you already edit your website as it is. You can edit very, very quickly. Is this something that maybe you should call up that uh, nephew that you have that's an <laughs> IT professional in school right now and, and ask them to walk you through this? Or is this something that's user-friendly that... I could use. It In other words, a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on uh, your level of expertise. We have okay. a, a page here. If you go to blueskyfactory.com slash fox25 Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a short amount of information that you need to go through, but it is doable if you follow the recipe exactly. Now, if you're uncomfortable with it, yeah, you may want to call up that, that nephew or you may want to hire somebody on the outside. There are you know, any number of firms. A good benchmark is if you've hired somebody to do the previous version, you probably want to give them a call again and say, you know, we know this deadline's coming up. Please can you know, come out and fix us up. Just really quickly, let's talk about the deadlines. If you already have a fan page intact, let's say, I don't know, Team Edward, Team Jacob. Right. Just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> um, do you have to then rush to change it, or do you have some time? You have some time. It, it, most people predict that it, you have at least till the end of the year for the things to stay the way they are. Um, that said, there's a good, there are very good reasons to change over to the new format. Um, there's, like, again, the video, the live stuff, the ability to interact with people. You can put uh, live streams of things. So if you uh, were having, say, a, a Fox 25 news event, you could have the live coverage and commentary beneath it and stuff. 
So the uh, the deadline for being able to create the old style page is March 11th. After that, no more. So you have you have to use the new stuff after March 11th. Chris from Blue Sky Factory, thanks for Thank being here much. this morning. Tell our viewers one more time where they can go for your link to walk them through all this. So this tutorial is at blueskyfactory.com slash fox25 Facebook. Awesome. Thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you. We'll be back in just a moment. In the meantime, I'm going to update my public page with your help.